Hello YouTube, I have premium content now, cause we got that set. I don't know when this is gonna be uploaded. Probably a couple weeks ago. But I got this deck now, and it's pretty cool, cause also it's good. So, yeah, I like winning sometimes. Uh, Kira, you draw a card, because... I don't want my starter to be retired, and I want cards to go to my hand. You also want soul for an archive. Oh yeah, it's true. Yeah, because they changed that ruling. Yeah, I want soul. That's that's what the smart person would know about. I mean, actually, that. you could soul blast and still keep the forerunner. I think that's how it works. No, they changed that ruling back. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think so. Who knows? Who, it's it, who gives a shit. Um, Maiden Trailing Rose is what you want to ride a hundred percent of the time because when you do that, you get two tokens. But when you call her, you get one more, which is cool. Um, yeah. It also has another ability, but you never use it, because you want to stride first all of the time, so usually when you ride her, you're just going to stride. But, yeah, it's really good, because abusing Katrina is sick, and this deck is literally just shitting out tokens, and then using them to shit out other dudes. So it's cool. It's a good card. Run it at four, because if you run into... If you have to ride other things, you're probably screwed. Uh, three Exploding Tomato, because you can use your excess tokens as draw power, and it can turn into tokens on attacks. So if you get no token generators, you can attack, call it, attack with it, turn it into tokens, and then attack with Katrina. Um, I, I'm, I'm not going to tell you the full effect, because that's a lot of reading, so if you need to know exactly what it does, just Google Exploding Tomato. I'll, just, I'll give you the full names, and you can just Google that. We're bad I'll get us past 10 minutes, I promise. Hey, we have a G deck now, so I'll be easy. Or G zone. Uh, for Sylvia, because... Uh, oh wait, I need to put the ORs in this, because this is the deck that I actually care about. Shit. Um, it's on place, get a token. It's another token generator, and it's free. It's great early game. This deck has a r bunch of grade 2s. Because again, what you want to do is stride first all of the time, so you have a great grade 2 game, because premium collection is so busted, the grade 2 game exists again. So, you want to go first. So you want to stride first, you just abuse grade 2s, and this is one of the best ones to do that, because it's just a free rear guard. Uh, so this is a good card. Uh, three copies of Maiden Gladiolus, uh, probably my favorite card in the deck, but I only run it at three because it's searchable off Katrina, and it also is GB restricted and a 9K, so playing the grade two game with her sucks. But um, it's an amber clone that lets you clone a thing to abuse four circles, and just multi-attack with on four circles, and if you use that with anything that generates tokens like Trailing Rose or Sylvia, you just get to generate a free booster, so you get a column out of it. This is a really good card, that's why it's $10, even though it came out in 2015. Um, three copies of Urban Soul, um, gives you a draw, gives your column power. Um, you can make funny plays with this and Rain Breath Dragon to give your Vanguard power on your opponent's turn, which is really funny. And drawing a card is nice, because it's hand advantage, and also it's another good card for the Grade 2 game. So, good to have it. Three. And three copies of Kaivot, because... Um, Beat stick just gets a shit ton of power, good early game, good when you're abusing Katrina because of how bloom timing works. If you have a full field of tokens, it'll be a 25k beater when you call it, which is sick. So, uh, yeah, run it at, run it, yeah, that's it for grade twos, just because 13 is a lot of grade twos, so, yeah. Uh... Next, four copies of Merka. It's another token generator on place Soul Blast to get one. And if when you call a dude to her call him, she gets 3k. It's so you get tokens at grade one. And if you have her, Sylvia, and Trailing Rose as your ride targets, you literally get a full field for a net cost of Soul Blast one, which is fucking great. And it's easy to abuse Katrina that way. So it's a four of because you generate tokens to fucking hell and it's amazing. Um, Fruits Basket Elf is another four of just because um, it's a token generator. If you don't see Sylvia or what's its name? Merka 
or you don't see trailing rows, it pretty much makes up for that. So her and um, tra trailing rows on what's its name uh, and Katrina gives you a full board, so it's good. Also, the tokens get 5k if you're at grade 3, but that part's less relevant. Uh, next is four copies of Padmini. Uh, it's a stride fodder. Uh, and if somebody, if you're one of the people that says you don't run stride fodders because progenitor dragons exist, you're an idiot. You're wrong. Stop talking. Um, so, yeah, and also Megaloma is the worst progenitor dragon to take stride fodders out of because, yeah, so you're running Padmini because it's a stride and you want to do it. I might knock it down to three just because this deck turbos out games so fast you're probably going to want to, you're probably not going to need four, but I've literally been back in the country for two days at the time of recording, so I haven't really play tested a whole lot. And then one copy of Rebecca uh, gives dudes power, it bounces herself with your excess tokens, so it's a good call target for Katrina just because you could call it, sack some tokens, and get hand advantage at the end of the turn, which is actually really cool. Uh, trigger lineup. Uh, I'm not doing Solemn's list of 12 crit for heal because um, I really just don't like it. Like, I've, I've never felt like, oh yeah, I needed to turbo out a game so fast that I need to play 12 crit. Like... I like the draws because PGing is cool and like I'd want to play it safe. I, I like playing it safe and also the deck with Katrina losing uh, blue uh, plant tokens, it can kind of turbo out well enough that like you don't really need 12 crits and from what I've played and experienced. And also like, I don't know, maybe it's also just because I'm playing and maybe it may also like draw triggers if you see them early you get to see your plant token generators if you don't see them earlier so yeah I like the hand advantage of it and I actually like being able to PG uh, four copies of watering elf you have like two cards that counter blast and two that soul blast uh, you don't need the uh, one that gives you counter blasted soul blast back so running at four because it has more power um four copies of happy lucky the premium collection crit it's a crit with a skill and also having v trigger numbers so like that's why it's a four of <laughs> and then four uh four other what the hell is the other crit right in front of you oh shit there it is um four other crits because v series numbers are cool um, yeah, I like being able to trigger. And the name doesn't really matter because you run a lot of- You don't have a Musketeer Grade 3, so you're never going to have a Musketeer Heart, so you don't need that for- to run a lot of Musketeer crits. And um, you can confuse your opponent with your trigger lineup. Whoa. Oh, that's a fucking stupid argument and it's wrong. Uh, um, alright, cool. Uh, next on to the G Zone. I love saying that. I miss this format. Um, the only one that fucking matters is four copies of, uh... Holy shit, they changed her name. Well, I really haven't looked at this card at all since I saw it. That's She's a damsel now. Yeah. I fucking love the other one, like Pure Saint or whatever. Um... Wow, well, Gabe, only three hot stamp, what are you, poor? Yes. <laughs> uh, it's a really fucking good card. What can I say? It's what got Neo Nectar from being shit in premium to being one of the be four best decks or whatever. It's some. It's somewhere up there. Wait till Force Two comes out. Well, I mean, you're right. Um, yeah, it's a good. That's a good card. So you get tokens when you play it for your G Zone, and then when all your tokens get ten and when you attack, you just call for tokens from your deck. Literally anything. So it's made it really fun just to experiment because you can literally put anything in your deck and it's searchable. So yeah. Um, I really like Katrina. She's a great card, and she's made Neonector Tier 1, I think. I'm going to say it's Tier 1, because even if it's not, it helps me feel better about nothing. Um, she's so much better than everything else that pretty much everything else besides G-Guards exists as flip fodder, so I'm just using my most expensive Neonector cards just to flex on people. So I'm running Inverno because it's an SGR and it looks pretty. 
I am running Zoa because it's a ZR and it looks pretty. I'm running Primavera because it's a secret rare. Shoutouts to uh, Joshua Lee Axel, the winner of um, California Grand Fest 2017. It's a secret rare, so it's shiny and it looks pretty. I'm running Megaloma. Um, it's not flip fodder because you can't flip progenitor dragons, but like it has a cool effect. I like not dying when I use it, and um, I might go and put in the self damagers just for that cheese where you're at five damage, go into rain breath to call whatever the grade one is and self damage yourself just so you end your opponent's turn. But yeah, it's come in handy. Uh, the free striding thing is cool. If I'm like really far behind and I'm playing against like Ezel, it comes in handy just because um, it, that's a slow burn, so I'll just fucking do this and then I they lose out on like eight attacks and I get to stride for free. And it's also shiny, so. Um, I'm running two copies of Myra because these were in the sleeves originally from my original premium deck and I've been too lazy to put anything else in them. And also there's nothing really else worth putting in because Katrina is a god. So these are just flip fodders. But if I get more expensive, um, if I get more expensive uh, Neo Nectar cards that I feel like putting in, I'll probably take her out. Oh wait a minute, I have the... Um, yes, Pink Dream Spinning. I have the SP Dream Spinning and the SGR. What's it called? The Cecilia. Mm -hmm. I don't run Musk. Honestly, I've only ever felt like going into Katrina, so like I'll probably just turn these into expensive cards. And like, yes, you, what realistically what you should probably be doing is run Dream Spinning Asha and Glorious Asha, but like, you're just using it as flip fodder, so who cares? You can also just run more G-Guardians, because you can flip G-Guardians for cost, too. And then you remember that if you have four face-up G-Guardians, you can't G-Guard. True. Dumbass. Um... Are uh, you running Rainbow Cycle? Uh, it's a shit card, but it's the only way you put normal units back into your deck. So, um... That's why you run it. It's, it's, and it's, yeah, you run it at one because it flips itself face down. It's like, what else are you going to do with your life? Um, run it at one, it gives you cards back. Um, running one copy of Dismal because people like to attack Gladiolus, and I like it when they don't do that, so I like to make sure that they don't do that. Um, two copies of Rain Breath. It's basically, a, it's a free, it's, a G guard, it's a free 20k. Uh, fun shenanigans with cards that let you call things. Uh, yeah, Neonector G guards are kind of archetype specific, so like it's one of the generic ones. And I don't feel like running Ractome because the drop and draw isn't worth the power loss. Because you just get units for free with this deck. And then two copies of Anero because, contradictory to what I literally just said like five seconds ago, this is a generic G guard and it can get up to 35k shield, which is pretty sick. I like having big defensive numbers. Um, then running Force Gifts. I did a K split, so I just have all of these Cecilia Gifts that I'm using. Because they're there. Um, oh, there's another one that I just didn't notice. Whoopsie. Uh, yeah, that's it. And then I'm running uh, six Gabe Tokens. Uh, we're running the 2014 uh, edition. Uh, we're running the 2016 edition, uh, the 2019 edition, and the other 2019 editions, just because uh, these are the best plant tokens, and uh, the only thing cuter than like the little blossom one is being able to look at me doing JoJo poses because I got bored, and this is just me with some friends and uh, people I literally met that day. So, uh, yeah. This is the deck profile. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, you're going to see this in games, and I'm probably going to be misplaying, because even though this deck is apparently Helmet, I suck. So, like, what do you do? Uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed. If you didn't, uh, and you made it this far, thanks for giving me money. So, you, if you didn't enjoy it, God knows I did. Um, yeah, that's it. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye!